first I thought it was a benign cyst, but it looks like it's probably a cystic hygroma. Whoa, the trachea is starting to close off. Well, I'll move your diverticulectomy, or maybe Dr. Stark has time for it. Dr. Stark has time for what? Uh, I've got a diverticulectomy. We're hoping that you could take it, because this hygroma needs to come out right away. Oh, good Lord, why did you wait so long? This thing is a time bomb. Well, we just saw the patient for the first time today. Well, so what? The parents don't have health insurance? They do. Well, why didn't they get this kid to a doctor? Kyle's mother has Alzheimer's. She was diagnosed a few months ago, and the father has been working like a dog, so their insurance doesn't lapse. I mean, Kyle's taking care of his mom as much as anyone's taking care of him. They're just underwater right now. Yeah? All right. Call Protective Services. What? At least one of you here understood that, right? But you can't take Kyle away from his parents. You just told me they're not caring for their son. They are dealing with an extraordinary set of circumstances. This happens all the time. That's why the state set up a whole department to deal with this. You know, I've got three specialists on their way in here to look at a tumor, so I need this room. Dr. Stark? And you've got a surgery to perform, assuming the patient's airway is not already closed. If it is, well, he's probably dead, and then, well, yeah, nobody has to call anybody, right? I don't know. We can call a social worker, have him go in and say hello, ask if they need any help. It'll placate him. No, because once you're in the system, it'll only get worse. You're registered as a parent who neglects his kid. It's over. You have to call him off. He's my boss. Believe me, I like it way less than you do. This family just lost the ground under their feet. No one likes the idea of a 10-year-old taking care of his mother, but they're doing the best they can. Maybe Derek's drug helps her. Or... She could get the placebo, and in 18 months, she doesn't even know who Kyle is. We can't let their last couple of years together become some nightmare where they're fighting to keep Kyle in their house. It's enough of a nightmare already. We'll talk to him. What? So he shoots us down. Can't hurt to try, right? You need me to take your diverticulectomy while you remove the boy's mask, right? My assistant knows my schedule better than me. Just check with her. We think calling protective services is a bad idea. Oh, uh, Kyle's mother may not have a lot of lucid time. And these years are going to be difficult, but it's all the family has. And so pulling them apart... Do you know when protective services pulls families apart? When the children are in danger. When the children aren't in danger, they go away. They do something else. But they can have a knee-jerk reaction to certain circumstances. You think they're idiots? I am sure that they are not. Heartless wretches? No. Pediatric surgeons can be heartless wretches. Some would argue that I'm a case in point. But social workers, on the other hand, are bleeding hearts. All right? They're earning peanuts, they're doing this thankless work, and then they get painted as what? Home wreckers. For simply stepping in when children are being harmed. We get, but the boy is not being harmed. And you're sure about that, right? You're 100% sure. No shadow of a doubt there. Ah, that must be a nice feeling, huh? Why don't you be a good example for your residents? Make the call. Mm-hmm.